Hey everybody, I have a timer up for 10 minutes, which can only mean one thing. It's time for the 10 minute challenge, or as I like to call it, the try and talk while drawing challenge. Why delay it? Let's get started. Boop. I've decided this time to draw Maple, since that's a character I know really well, like the back of my hand. Uh, since she is my channel mascot and I created her, so I would hope so. So let's just, oh, wait, nope, oh, crap. Why didn't I check my settings first? <laughs> Already setting off on a great foot. Okay, so Easter's this week, and I thought, why don't I draw Maple for Easter? Because I seem to draw her for all the holidays. And um, I want to put her in an Easter dress, but then I was thinking about, you know, Maple as a character, and she wouldn't mind being put in the Easter dress, but what would bug her is the fact that her mom probably wouldn't let her play in the spring mud outside. So why don't we give her a grumpy face, not a happy face. And what do you do with eyes to make them grumpy? Nope, that looks sad. Okay. Well, get this. We only have 10 minutes, but we can do it. Yeah, we'll just take off the tab. Flatten up the tab. That makes her look a little bit less play pleased. And give her some kind of angry eyebrows, maybe. Just slightly. There we go. And her mom put her in a big, poofy Easter dress. I'm drawing toddler maple, so that's why I'm saying her mom dressed her. Okay. And her arms would probably be crossed because she's a little bit annoyed that she can't go pick flowers and make mud cakes. So I'm thinking a big poofy dress. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that looks great. Um. Give her some cute shoes. Little toddler shoes. So they probably have a bow on them somewhere. Probably right here. That works. And this foot. Right. So I remember last time, the 10 minutes felt a lot longer than I was expecting it to. Mostly because I cut out a few steps. Let's grow this. So this time I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I get, I mean, try to do it quickly, but I'm also gonna try and take my time so I don't rush it too much, but I will try to get most of it done quickly. I don't even know if this is making sense. <laughs> I feel like I'm rambling. Anyway, let's add some ruffles in the skirt. Um, her mom probably made her hair look nice, so let's give her some actually, some hair that's probably been brushed because she doesn't usually brush her hair. Um, her little toddler bangs <laughs> and um her hair is curly today mom curled it just for easter mm -mm -mm. <laughs> she does not look happy this is funny i've never drawn maple when she was not happy she's usually happy at all times but she's not getting her way today so that's mostly the reason for the, her mood. Mm, what should I do for the dress? I feel like there's some, I was going for something, I don't remember what it was. We can give her a stripe on the bottom of the dress. And then, maybe a bow in her hair. I'll pull some of this hair back. Race, race, race. Give it a bow. go. She looks really girly today. <laughs> um, there's something I was going to say. Nope, completely. It's, it's gone. I don't know. Let's give her a cute little sweater. With some buttons on the sweater. And there's the dress. That's what I mean, the top of the dress. So we don't need this line. Well, it's just an extra line that's not needed. Um, so her legs. I think I want her dress to be polka dotty in spring colors. I think that'd be adorable. I need a bigger brush here. Okay, so. Oh, what I. 
That's what I was gonna say. So the worst part about the 10 minute challenge is not just the talking, but the fact that I don't, I didn't find a way to be able to see the timer while I'm drawing. I might like in, uh, in post add a timer so you can see it. So you can see at what point I am. But I currently do not know how long I've been drawing. I probably should have looked at the clock. I think I said that last time. Um, and also if you didn't know, I have done this challenge before, and if you're interested in seeing that video, I'll have a link somewhere so you can go and check that out. Oh, that's my phone. Okay, shush, shush, shush. So I think I'm done with that, and we'll just we'll change the color of the sketch since it looks pretty clean. I'm just going to turn it black so it could be line art. There we go. Just like that. And we'll start adding the colors and I think I'll put her in a yellow dress because that's one of her colors Let's fill that in quickly that's cute she looks cute I don't know why she's so upset <laughs> alrighty and uh, let's give that some uh, either pink or purple polka dots Let's go purple. Nice spring bright purple. Purple polka dots. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I want to have like a toddler so I can dress them like this. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I'm not really interested. All right. So we're going to... Okay, we got the purple. Let's color the bottom hem purple. I think that's a very toddler thing. And, um, I think I'm gonna leave the sweater white, but let's give her some skin color. Underneath the bangs and the ears. The skin looks a little dark for maple, but I thought, I, I don't know. I have it saved on the side of my color palette as maple skin, but it's not really looking like maple skin. But we'll leave it for now, and then we'll just grab some blush. Uh, we'll set that to pressure for the opacity and maybe even set this layer to multiply and we will color in her cheekies and maybe her nose because she's probably been crying a little bit so her nose will be all red and her knees and her elbows we'll lower the opacity of that that's a little too vibrant I think sees and then we'll color in her eyes and oh hair hair probably should color the hair let's go to my color palette so this is the color for her roots and if she's a toddler she probably hasn't bleached her hair yet so probably gonna have to just go with this color for a little bit color the eyebrows i'll use the color that's usually for her hair just as like a subtle gradient so that it's not too dark because that's just a little too dark for me. So I'll grab a gradient and just sort of, it's a little too vibrant. Ugh, lower the opacity. There we go. That's cute. I think it's a Dora ball. All right. Okay. I don't know how much time I have left. So I should probably try and wrap this up because I can't possibly have a lot of time. Okay. Let's go back to the skin layer. Color in here because those are shoe has a little bit of skin showing and let's give her a chocolate stain since we still have time so she's been eating a bit of chocolate there we go <laughs> chocolate almost mustache not quite thing lower the opacity a bit and she <laughs> she's having a good easter except for the fact that she can't play in the mud so she's eating her feelings with chocolate little chocolate eggs um why don't we add some eggs let's add eggs in the background so it looks a little bit more Easter-y and then we can color it that one's a big yellow egg and a pink egg with yellow Ziggy's eggs whatever those are called and some polka dots looks like an egg this one can have this one could be like half purple with pink pokey dots Oh no, that doesn't really work. Um, we can use a white line across the center or something. Oh, that's, that's not a bad design for an egg. 
There we go. She wants more chocolate. The only thing that will make her happier is more chocolate. Okay. Um, we can add a shadow. I, I wish I knew how much time I had left. Let's just add a little bit of a shadow so it, we can ground her with the picture and she doesn't look like she's just floating there. And she still is. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is the timer. If I can find the link. Okay, that's not it. There it is, so zero seconds. Okay, let's just uh, look it over. I think I did a little bit better than the first time I did the challenge. I didn't rush myself, so because I didn't rush myself, I wasn't really shaking while I was drawing it, so I think I had an overall better result. Um, it doesn't really look like Mabel to me. I think it's because I used that hair. That's not quite her hair color. Well, it's her root color, so that's more her hair color, I guess. And then we take this and the gradient and we'd fill that in. I don't know, but that's not part of the challenge. This is what I got done in 10 minutes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I encourage you all to try the 10 minute challenge to see what you can create in only 10 minutes. It's really cool. You don't have to do it digitally. You can do it traditionally. And I'd like to see what you guys can make in 10 minutes. I think that'd be great. Um, I'm more of a sketcher, so I don't find this as difficult. I've I, I might have last time, but I, I prefer to sketch things than actually finish them, as you might be able to tell by watching my channel. Um, but this is like what I live for. I love creating sketches that look like this. So I really like the way it turned out. You can let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys all next week. Have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye. Oh, and have a happy Easter too. <laughs> okay, bye.